What's good, YouTube? You know what it is. You me and Jinx back out here. Back for another segment of Jinx P's Kitchen on Jinx P TV. You know what I'm saying? If you're new to the page, hit that post notification. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video so far. We're only 19 seconds in. And um, let me show you what I got going on here. So this is a Cornish hen that I put into a brine earlier. I just took the lid off and took it out the refrigerator. This is a baked potato. Well, it will be a baked potato once I bake it. And I'm gonna put on the side just some salad. Keep it simple. You're probably looking at it like, that's some nasty stuff right there, man. That's a brine. What you put in the brine, you get some salt, seasoning, a um, little bit of pepper, whatever you want, really. And um, it's a, and it has to have salt in it, too. But it's an infusion technique for the, um, the seasoning to get into the meat. Mine has been sitting for about, I think it's like almost 8 o'clock now. Mine has been sitting for about maybe, I think since like maybe 4.30. You know, a lot of people do it overnight. I just did it for these few hours. And, um, and man, we're about to get into this and cook this a Cornish hen. i never done a Cornish hen um, video yet. I did one a couple of weeks ago, but the audio was so bad on it. I had to um, redo it over. So hopefully this one goes good. So let's get into it. So the first thing is, I guess, what is what is in my, what's in my brine? So I put water, salt, Italian seasoning, all-purpose seasoning. Oh, and apple cider vinegar. You should always, like, you know what I'm saying, clean your meat with some type of vinegar or whatever, apple cider or regular white vinegar, whatever. But I just put that in there to help clean it along with the other elements. And um, let it sit for, like, five, six hours. A lot of people like to do it overnight. I didn't really have that type of time, so I did five or six hours. So I got the air fry preheating right now. I'm about to prepare this baked potato. I'm going to show you how to do a baked potato in the air fryer. And um, I think I have a video already doing that, but that day was kind of rushed. And I was lying on the video. It really didn't come out as good as I kept saying it was. But hopefully today we can do it right. So I'm going to get set up. Start off with the baked potato. And then uh, while the baked potato was cooking, because the baked potato is going to take like 40 minutes. So while that's cooking, I'm going to let the chicken dry out. In the brine, well, take it out the brine, let it dry out. So, hopefully, by the time the baked potato is done, I can season up the chicken and put the cornage in the um, uh, the air fryer. So, let's get that started. All right, y'all. So, first, we're gonna get this baked potato started. I'm gonna hit it with some extra virgin olive oil. So take that out. I didn't drown it, but I'm just being generous. Get it all up in there. Okay, so I'm gonna take a fork, put some holes in it. I'm just going around it. What is the purpose of this? Say the truth, I don't know. I just went to go look how to do it one day, and this is what they did. I'm gonna do that too. That should be enough. Let me just pour some out. And just do that. Makes everything easier. I'm gonna tell y'all now, if y'all do decide to follow this one day or even decide to make your own potato or whatever, whatever it is you make, just wear some gloves. You know, it, it saves the time of repeatedly and constantly washing your hands. You're so tired of it. That's pretty much it with the baked potato. Now I'm gonna throw it in the air fryer for about 40 minutes at like I'm gonna go 360 for 40 minutes and check it in um check it in 20. So let's go do that. Air, air fryer basket is ready. Put the potato in there. It's already been preheated. Put the potato in there. 
And um, 40 minutes at 360, come back at 20, check it out. Matter of fact, I'm not just gonna do 20 minutes first, and then I'll come back and check it and do the other 20. Now I'm gonna take this Cornish hen out this brine i let it dry out. Hopefully it dries out enough in 40 minutes. And, um, you know, I can start cooking this. And get my dinner going because my show's about to come on. I don't want to miss it. Alright, so in the meantime, I made like this little paste or clay or something. You might have. I don't know. Um, it's just melted butter, these seasonings. And I'm just going to glaze the whole chicken with that. I'm gonna be basting it as it cooks. You know what I'm saying? Probably 20 minutes in. When I flip it, I'll base it again. So we're gonna let that sit for a minute. Um, wait for this baked potato to get done, and um, we're gonna start on this. So I finished off the baked potato. Put a little test here. Oh yeah, it's pretty like crispy on the outside. The inside is like really soft. So. I can't wait to get into that, but now we're about to get into this chicken, this corner chicken, and get that cooking. It's already too late. I'm trying to be eating this late, but I guess half of that will be for lunch tomorrow. All right, get this chicken done. So as you see, I had it in the brine for about five, six hours. Um, I just seasoned it with the um, little paste that I made earlier. You know, baste that on there, and I'll be basting it throughout as I cook it. I'm going to hit it with some pepper and a little bit of salt, and that's going to be it for this. Pepper up in there. I like these grinding um, pepper shakers, there, but if you don't get like a good one, you say they're almost about to tear your wrist off. Okay. I'd rather have more pepper than salt. I don't really like dual salt. I especially don't like iodized salt, but... All my sea salt, my kosher salt is gone, so this is all I got right now. So I'm just gonna hit that really quick with that. Just a little something. So with this being in the brine, and then you know, we'll season it with the regular seasoning and doing the base, this should have some pretty good flavor in it, I hope. But that's what you're about to find out. We're going to take it over to the air fryer. I'm going to hit it, put it in the basket, hit it with the spray. And we're going to let it go for 20 minutes at about 360. 360, 370 for about 20 minutes. Take a look at it, flip it over. Base the other side. I'm going to hit it again with the salt and pepper. And um, do that for another 20 minutes. And we go from there. Get heard? So, wipe the air fryer down a little bit. Hit it with some spray. I'm going to hit it with some spray. Um, about to put the, the corn chin in here. Uh, I'm use some tensors, but whatever. So we're gonna go in here for about 20 minutes, 360, and then I'll come back and take a look at it. I'm also gonna hit this with some spray. So this is a canola spray, no calories. Um, it doesn't have anything, no cholesterol, no sodium. And so y'all think I'm joking, look. This canola spray is the bomb. But there ain't nothing in it. That might be a little excessive, but whatever. All right, we're gonna put this in the air fryer. Punch it up to 20 minutes. I got it set at three. I got it set at like probably 375. So we're gonna do that for 20 minutes, come back and check it out. Alright y'all, so we're about 10 minutes in. From a 20 minute cook time. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. Nice golden yellow. Looks like it was done in a restaurant. Really good, I like that. All right, y'all, so the first 20 minutes is up. Let's take a look. Oh, that looks really good. I'm gonna bring it over into the light. You know what I'm saying? Now we're gonna flip it. I'm gonna base the other side. Put a little seasoning on it, spray it again. Go for another 20 minutes. 
This is really good. Right, the other side of the season. I'm hit it with this spray. And then I'll put it back in there for another 20 minutes, but this time I have to check it in like 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? There we go. We're almost there, yo. Okay, so we got 10 minutes in on side two. Take a look. Oh, wow. What? Come on. I'm a beast in the kitchen. That's it right there. That's the finished product. One inch in. A little salad. Mashed potato. Not mashed potato. Baked potato. That's what we're going to get. I'm going to cut this in half. I'm going to take the other half. I'll eat that for lunch tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? And I probably won't even get through this whole thing tonight. It's too late and I just want a couple of bites. This might be might be tomorrow's night. Tomorrow night then or something. I don't know. But um, damn it, that's my spill on corn chin in the air fryer. Y'all enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that post notification, hit the thumbs up, and I'll get you on another video, yeah? Peace.